Every day and each week brings us closer to the future. This week's AI News Roundup is, let's jump into it. Apple is reportedly close to finalizing a deal with OpenAI to integrate ChatGPT technology into its iPhone devices. This would bring ChatGPT features to the upcoming iOS 18 operating system, enhancing the iPhone's AI capabilities. Apple is also in discussions with Google about potentially licensing its Gemini chatbot, though no deal has been reached yet. The OpenAI partnership would allow Apple to offer a popular chatbot as part of its AI offerings on iOS 18. Most of iOS 18 AI functions are expected to run on device for privacy and speed benefits. Apple CEO Tim Cook has praised ChatGPT's transformative potential and Apple's software integration advantage for AI. Details on exactly how ChatGPT will be implemented in iOS 18 are still unclear, but the integration aims to significantly improve the user experience, potentially upgrading Siri and adding AI features to apps. An official announcement is anticipated at Apple's Worldwide Developers Conference in June. Stanford University's Computational Imaging Lab has created a new prototype for augmented reality glasses. This prototype uses holographic technology and artificial intelligence to create a more compact and visually impressive device compared to traditional AR systems. The use of holography provides more accurate depth perception and a natural visual experience, reducing the nausea often associated with current 3D imaging technologies. AI algorithms are used to improve the quality of the holographic images, allowing allowing for more detailed and realistic projections. The design is unlike bulky headsets. This prototype looks like a regular pair of glasses, making advanced AR technology more accessible and practical for everyday use. They also include waveguides. These waveguides are etched onto the lens surface, allowing the device to be as compact as regular glasses while delivering high-quality holographic projections. Potential applications of this technology include medical, surgery planning and assistance, engineering, training and real-time assistance, education, interactive and immersive learning, and entertainment, immersive gaming and media experiences. However, there are challenges to overcome, such as improving the relatively narrow field of view, 11.7 degrees, and gaining consumer acceptance in a market dominated by established players. Google I.O. 2024, a two-day event, kicks off with a keynote on the 14th of May, 2024, at Shoreline Amphitheater, streaming live. It will be unveiling Android 15 with AI enhancements, satellite messaging, lock screen widgets, a redesigned status bar, and better battery monitoring. Major focus on advances in Google's AI technology, Gemini, and its ecosystem integration. Potential hardware announcements like the Pixel Fold, Pixel 9 series, Wear OS 5, and Google Pixel Watch 3. Possible updates on Wear OS 5, Chrome OS, Google TV, and augmented reality advancements. Online registration is open for virtual attendees to access live streams and on-demand content. AI lip synchronization technology threatens to disrupt traditional dubbing studios and jobs. The company Flawless is promoting AI technology that can alter video frames to match dubbed audio tracks. This improves the realism of content localization while reducing production costs. Hollywood studios are testing Flawless's AI lip sync tech, aiming the potential for boosting foreign content sales. Currently, the AI only syncs visuals to dubbed voices, not generating the voices itself. But future AI may be able to realize realistically dub films in the original actors' voices. This emerging AI dubbing capability could eliminate many human dubbing jobs in the industry. Now we're stuck on this stupid tower in the middle of nowhere. And I don't blame you. And now we're stuck on this stupid... Stuck on this stupid freaking tower in the middle of freaking nowhere. Yes, it's not all for my fault. More of X paradox shows tasks easy for humans are hard for AI, and vice versa. For AI, complex reasoning is easier, while basic skills like walking are tough. This is because evolution made human skills innate and complex reasoning recent. AI can excel at games, but struggles with physical tasks. Future AI needs to learn basic skills like humans do, requiring understanding of both AI and human brains. Do you know Westworld? If you don't, Westworld is basically a science fiction movie where they have labs making human-like robots and the robots go crazy, but this is not in the movie. NASA created a visualization simulating a journey into a supermassive black hole using the Discover supercomputer. This is what it looks like.
Will our future look like this? In China, AI monitors employees' productivity. If someone stops working or leaves their desk, a countdown begins showing they're not doing their job. This robot's action of picking up the orange is guided by a neural network trained in-house. Figure 01 uses OpenAI to understand common sense when Bill asks for something healthy. Researchers in Hong Kong create robots that can form swarms to work together on tasks. These robots collaborate to achieve goals that a single robot can't manage alone. AI is not going to take your jobs. The person who uses AI is going to take your job. So use AI as fast as you can so that you could stay gainfully employed.